Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review. This time for Takara's Tomi's Transformers Masterpiece MP18 Cybertron Gunner Streak. Okay, otherwise uh, more commonly known as Blue Streak to us. Uh, this is the Nissan Fair Lady 280Z-T. And here we have the box of uh, Blue Streak. Streak, very nice uh, box art. Here we see Streak, Optimus Prime compared with Streak. Uh, Prime trailer with Streak coming out. And without further ado, uh, let me just go to the figure. And here we have Streak. Alright, so Streak is a very, very nice old school car. Uh, really nice, I think the paint job on this is very nice. The silver is a uh, matte silver. The black is really glossy and uh, it's really, really cool. It's really nice. It's really old school. Old school design of the Nissan Fair Lady, but no, it's really nice. And the wheels rolls really, really well on, on screen. And um, before I go on further in the video, here you get a bio card, right, of a uh, Streak. Over here with all the statistics and uh, apart from that if you buy the uh, Asia version you actually get um, this um, cannons as well okay I bought two so I got two you buy one uh, you get one so uh, it's still dumb to me to give you a pair but uh, it's like they're forcing you to buy two so you get two but uh, anyways <coughs> excuse me for that <coughs> excuse me again and apart from that you get this coin this masterpiece coin uh, which has a pull out feature which is quite interesting from 18 to to, to cover up so this is a interesting uh, feature but well anyway so here we have uh, Streak um, very nice car mode uh, everything so different from Prowl the difference from Prowl when I did a comparison is that the top part they do not have the siren so that's uh, about the difference that you have car design wise the the uh, bonnet is uh, exactly the same idea comparison, it looks exactly the same to me. The gun that uh, Streak comes with is exactly the same as Prow as well. And now you wonder how can you put the gun on, on Streak? There's no hole for you to put it in. Um, even if you were to get this part in, switch it over, you can't put it in as well. Anyway, Takara, they actually made a very uh, ingenious, uh, quite, quite a clever uh, gimmick. You need to actually open up the half the body. And from here, you need to actually uh, push out this tab, all right? Push out this black tab, get to the front, all right, bring it to the top, and then you collapse the car mode again. Here, you have this tab here. So here, you can actually just uh, put the gun on it. So it's really interesting. Really, really interesting. And of course, you can move the gun as well. So it's really interesting to have a, a battle mode for, for the vehicle, right? Uh, really, really cool. So I'm just gonna take this out. All right, and uh, flip the gun handle back out. All right, so transformation wise, exactly the same as Prowl. I mean, just leave this part here first. What you're gonna do, you're gonna pull this portion down. All right, pull it all the way 90 degrees down. Okay, and you split it out. You spread the arms out. Okay, spread the arms out this way. And uh, you push the uh, Bonnet out all the way up. At the same time, you're just gonna keep this back in. All right, at the back. And over here, you flip this red piece down a little bit, which allows you the allowance to flip the head up. And here, you see the uh, head of uh, Streak. Streak's head is actually very different from Prowl. Uh, I'll go into more of the details later. Okay, so once you flip this up, side mirrors. All right, side mirrors. You gotta push them in downwards. Okay, double jointed. All right, side mirrors. All right, gotta push it that in over here. All right, next thing you gotta do, you have to uh, unpack the uh, doors. All right, unpack the doors on the other side as well over here, and there you got the doors. Okay, once you unpack the doors, I'm just gonna leave it uh, this way first. But uh, you can actually just flip it up this way. Okay, so once you're done on this, you're going to uh, move the body down and at the same time as you move the body down, you will have to rotate these shoulder parts. Okay, upwards. Okay, you got to align them a, a little bit. Okay, you just uh, need a little bit of alignment. Might get a little bit in play. Uh, okay, you might uh, hinder the transformation a little, a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to uh, move him forward a little bit more first to get a catch down okay 
flip this down. Okay. Pushes down, and there's a tab over here at the, at the, at the uh, front that taps exactly to the, to the uh, bonnet. Okay, move the arms all the way 90 degrees. Okay, in. Once you move them in, you have the allowance that allows you to uh, tap it in place tightly. Right, and here you click. And one thing to note about Strick's uh, joints, uh, I noticed that he's actually tighter than Prow. Uh, but uh, let me just carry on the rest of the transformation first before I, I go further on this. So next part you want to do, you want to uh, actually get this uh, side pieces out. The easiest way to do actually is to actually pull this apart and uh, flip them out this way rather than just pull them apart from the instructions. So you hit this part out, and you flip this black piece up over here. Similarly for this side, you flip it up and come into here, what you want to do is to actually pull the, untap this, alright, as you untap, you're going to uh, rotate it downwards, alright, rotate it downwards, wiggle, 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 and over here, not forgetting the back plastic, this grey part, alright, flip it up, okay, all the way to the top, and you flip this uh, point down, and you rotate it down, and there you almost have the leg, alright, and you will just extend the knee first, Okay, straighten the knee, all right, allows you to do it. And over here, this uh, black part, tap it all the way down so it gets a catch, and then you push the uh, mirror down. And over here, you flip this over here, and there you have one leg done. Cool. Okay, let me just uh, adjust it a little bit first. All right, one leg is done. And similarly for the other side, what you're gonna do, unpack here, and as you unpack it, you rotate it downwards, and as you rotate it downwards, this inner part, remember to push it out, this inner grey piece, push it out, alright, and then you wriggle it, straighten it, back to here, push this black piece down, down with the uh, window, and over here, you flip this portion down, flip this up, and then you straighten the knee, and here you have the other leg done, alright, let me just adjust it a little bit, Get alignment correctly. Yes, and we are done. And over here, what you're gonna do right now, you're gonna rotate the waist all the way to the back. Okay. Okay. You gotta make sure that this thing doesn't uh, this catch it doesn't get in place. So you rotate it all the way back. Okay. And then we have almost done here. And right now, flip this portion back. All right. This portion up, lock it in place. There's actually two catches over here to lock the plastic tabs. And here we rotate the hand down. One more on the other side. And here we are done with streak. All right, so streak here transform blue streak. I gotta call him blue streak. Calling him streak is just weird to me. Blue streak, fully transform. And uh, of course, a more screen accurate blue streak always appears with double both of his cannons. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna flip his uh, shoulder cannons out, all right, push it in, and then lock, uh, lock this back in place, and there we have uh, Blue Streak, all right. So basically Blue Streak wise, uh, let, me just, let me hold his gun first as well. His gun, flip it in, okay, I'm gonna get the catch correct first, missing the catch over here. Alright, got the catch. And in the hands, and here is a uh, blue streak. Let me just see if I get the catch better aligned. Hmm, seems to be a slightly off alignment. Let me just see if I can fix it on my side. Or is it an inherent problem? Hmm. seems to be an inherent problem that's not something that I can fix on my end. So you see the gun is actually holding a little bit crooked. So let me just try holding it on the other hand, it might be better. Let me just try holding it on the other hand. Hopefully it looks better. So over here, flipping it here. Uh, yes, it holds much better on the other hand. See, it's more online correctly. So I'm just going to make uh, Blue Streak hold his uh, rifle with his left hand instead. So here is Blue Streak. Very nice uh, with the black the gunmetal silver, gunmetal grey, and the red parts. Really, really nice. I mean, it really stands out. 
really well. Articulation wise similar as uh, Prowl, you get double jointed the uh, show elbows, you get the shoulder articulation. Really really tight. Okay, one thing I was gonna say, it's really really tight, extremely tight. Gotta be careful because this pack, I'm not sure how strong this pack is, but I will recommend uh, caution. So when you want to move the uh, shoulder joints, just make sure you are rotating it and moving it near the uh, joint because it's really, really extremely tight. I might just want to put some oil uh, to the joint uh, later on after this review. Uh, apart from that, okay, go on to the articulation. The skirts can actually lift up. Legs can actually go all the way up this much. Front this much. Back all the way back. So you can do pretty, pretty dynamic poses. Uh, knees, really cool. This is strict. Really, really cool. Um, let's gonna do some comparison uh, with uh, Prowl. So here I have Prowl. So Prowl side by side with Streak. Basically, the main difference between these two is the uh, head crest. So head crest wise, Prowl's is actually longer and sharper. Compared to Streak's wise, it's actually shorter, all right? And apart from that, the, the mouth is different. Prowl doesn't have a lower chin, all right? Double chin rather, whereas uh, Blue Streak has a double chin. And the eyes for both Proud and uh, Blue Streak are different. So the face scalp is actually different. The head, in fact, is totally different. So the head scalp is actually completely different for the both of them. And apart from the head scalp, I'm just looking at an observation right now. The waist is different. As you can see, Proud's waist is actually shaped this way and um, the design is different. Whereas it has this this red portion. This this white portion is actually is actually a mold. Okay, it's not just painted over, but actually a molded piece. Whereas compared to uh, Blue Streak here, this portion of his uh, waist is actually like a diamond shape. It's actually molded as well. So this is a another difference that you have between Prowl and uh, and Blue Streak. So apart from that, I'm actually looking right now at the uh, parts and everything. Uh, shoulder hands wise, the Bonnet uh, is exactly the same, no difference on that. The uh, doors are exactly the same, sideways are exactly the same. Okay, the back, of course, we see that the top is different, the design is different. Uh, but basically, it's actually the same molding. If I look at it, yeah, it's actually the same molding, just that for Proud, you actually covered, colored this part over, and for this, actually, you didn't actually, there's no color, no painting over it, so basically, it's the same. And apart from that, uh, yes. So, uh, yes. So, Blue Streak, all right. Streak is actually a really, really wonderful piece. Another nice addition to the masterpiece. Uh, we're so glad we are getting the trio, which is uh, smoke screen as well. Smoke screen will be significantly different in terms of uh, molding and design. So, I'm pretty much looking forward to getting it. Uh, so for those of you who have uh, blue streak or uh, getting your blue streak, you might want to give it a check to see whether your joints are extremely tight like mine. So it's really tight to some point of being a little bit scary and uh, for the first time of transforming him, you might need to deal, use a little bit more force. Uh, but do be careful because uh, even though these are masterpieces, they are very delicate uh, pieces of engineering. Uh, so do ca be careful when you actually transform them and play with them. Alright, so here's Charles signing off with uh, yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.